I've gained an interest in looking into uh, hamartiology, the doctrine of sin, because I've just come across such horrible people. And, you know, really, what is that relationship of the Christian who sins and how much sin can be there before one is not considered a Christian? And, of course, the example before me is one, praise I am, Tom Holweg and his handlers. Um, either Tom is very sick or very evil. Now, that's going to have to do with moral culpability before God. Uh, he does have some societal culpability in uh, his actions and his Parents, if Tom is sick, then his parents are culpable. And this is the way uh, society would have viewed this, uh, I guess, up until very recently, where um, an adult child that still lives at home that is, say, uh, a little challenged in some way, he is the parents and his handler's responsibility. Anywho. When we consider the kind of grievous uh, sin, um, for example, attributing to Darth Dawkins, all of these things, why was it so easy for Tom Rabbit to lead Praise I Am down such a path? I mean, truly. And this is where we get into the issue of sinning um, in habit and sinning uh, by malice. And we don't have time to get into uh, the big distinctions that are in this uh, topic. But when we see the merging of um, one who, let's say, uh, lies by habit, then when his evil desires are pricked and then he uh, intensifies that evil, evil habit, uh, it tells me, as a theologian, number one, that individual is either morally and cognitively sick and in a uh, court of law wouldn't be culpable, or the person is particularly evil and there isn't any evidence of a regenerating presence of the Holy Spirit in their life. So let's just simply say that uh, when there is the sin of habit, let's say uh, slander, and then when a passion, uh, somebody's feelings get hurt, and therefore this there is this passion that happens, uh, that makes that evil pretty grievous. And so some would suggest that uh, that kind of sin committed is particularly grievous and worse than, say, the sin itself, just the habit in the life. And when we say habit, we're talking about uh, that avenue by which somebody acts when they engage the will. So if, for example, praise slanders by habit, when his evil desires are pricked, he's going to intensify that very habit that he's already engaged in. And that's why I say that this wasn't a one-time thing for Tom Rabbit to lead Tom Holweg down this path. That is his mind. That is his habit. That is the way uh, he lives life and engages. It is an erupt, a ingrained sin in his life. Now, this is either a stronghold that he hasn't brought to Christ, because I do believe that we grow in grace, or it's indicative of his whole character. And there's just something wrong there. So once again, anyone who validates praise I am as a Christian, um, you all are actually validating real habitual evil. Uh, should I bring up that he called Darth uh, Dawkins 
a elder abusing, murdering, trans homosexual with delusions of divinity. That's actually everything that, uh, if you look at what Prey said, that is the synopsis of it. He accused me of stealing $800, accusing me of lying for one smoky saint. I lied for nobody. I was a pastor, and I told the truth, and I said that it's nobody's business in areas that I wasn't going to answer. I stand by that today. So let's just say this is my theological, I'm not going to play a psychologist today on the YouTubes. I'm going to put my theological hat on. Praise is either morally culpable and wicked, 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 or he's under common grace. If he's under common grace, people need to be warned not to listen to a dodo bird. Uh, if he's evil, Christians need to be warned. Don't listen to the devil dodo. My name is Kenny, and I have spoken.